Good morning. May God in the heavens watch over you. Your cup will overflow. Today, I am here to pray for the sons and daughters of God, for whom God will make their cup overflow. Listen very attentively to what I'm about to tell you now. Perhaps as I speak, you may identify with it, or maybe not, but God knows, for it is He who sent this message to you. There are people in your life who do not believe that your life will experience a new season. There are people in your path. There are people who have already passed, but they are watching you, always expecting bad news. But God is bringing a season of honor into your life. Your cup will overflow. I will explain what it means for your cup to overflow. Beforehand, write in the comments your first name and the phrase, My cup will overflow. I never come here to pray just for the sake of praying. I always ask a lot that God speak to my heart. And today, the Lord showed me a cup overflowing, and I understood that it refers to Psalm 23. When the psalmist David offered this prayer, he was going through a very difficult time in his life. So, through this prayer, he declares that God honored him in the presence of his enemies that God honored him in the presence of those who wished him harm. Listen to what I'm going to tell you. There are people who have passed through your life or may still be on your path, just waiting for something bad to happen so they can say, I told you so. I said she wouldn't get very far. I said it would go wrong. But I tell you today that every word of curse that is being spoken against your life, the Lord will turn into a blessing. Everything that has been uttered, directed, by the mouth of wicked people, with evil intentions against your life, God turns curse into blessing. Raise one of your hands and say like this, In my life, the Lord will turn curse into blessing. I believe, and today I will pray. And as the Lord showed me an overflowing cup, it represents that God will honor you in all areas of your life. Do you believe in this? Raise one of your hands and say, I believe. I take possession. Let's pray. I will pray, and you will repeat there. With all the faith in your heart, prophesy these words over your life. Let's pray. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, 
I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Lord, I bless the life of each person who is praying with me at this moment. I ask you, my God, to bring provision to the family of each person. We pray at this moment that you, Lord, make the cup of your children overflow. May there be a release from you upon this person's life at this moment. I pray at this moment, canceling all evil over this life or over the house of your children. Lord, come undo every snare of the enemy. Break, Lord, every envy, every word of curse, every lying tongue against this person's life. Let it fall to the ground in the name of the Lord Jesus. I also pray, Lord, against everything that is rising against this person's life to defeat and destroy them. My God, my prayer today is that you touch this person's life and work your miracle. Free your children from every malicious person, all those who wish or expect harm upon them. Guard their life now. Give spiritual discernment to your children to see where evil lies. Lord, come protect the life of your son. Come protect the life of your daughter. My prayer is that you, Holy Spirit, work in this person's life. May great miracles be released upon their life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, release your blessings upon this family. Release your blessings upon this life and this house. I pray that the hand of the Lord be upon their life. Don't let anyone belittle you. Don't let anyone take away what God has placed in your life. Lord, strengthen the heart of your children. Strengthen their spirits. Strengthen their faith. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray that things fall into their right place in your life. May things begin to work, begin to go right in your life. 
Let your power come upon each of your children at this moment, Lord, and put each one on their feet. Undo now every plan of the enemy and bring your presence into this person's life. Receive God's miracles in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the honor, and the glory, today, tomorrow, and forever. Amen. Thanks be to God.